Hi, I'm Greg Bradfield. I'm the Managing Director of Musrow Beef. Musrow Beef is an integrated beef production operation that runs cattle from calving all the way through to processing cattle to supplying greenums to their premium brands, particularly Cape Grim, which is exported to prime, key overseas markets. At Cape Portland we join 1800 breeders every year. We wean them in March, March and April and then most of the cattle then go down to a high rainfall finishing property at Nabola where they're then taken through to weights between 480 and 550 kilos. The rainfall here at Cape Portland is for 650 mil mils and we, we farm around about 2,900 hectares. Uh, the soils here are mostly sandy loams. There's a significant coastline here and has a wind farm on it, so it's particularly windy, so we've got to be very careful and sensitive to the way that we manage the land. We use regenerative and holistic management principles in operating the farm. Our landowner, when we started the lease, commenced subdividing and rewarding the property, and that allows us to strategically graze the property to maximise grass growth and also animal performance. We match our stocking rate to our carrying capacity which is dictated by the rainfall for the previous 12 months. And we have a number of strategies in place that allows us to manage periods of low rainfall. And our main strategy to do that is to have a backgrounding mob on the farm that comprises roughly 20% of our stocking rate. So if we see that our, the rainfall is dropping and that we should be lowering our stocking rate, we pick up this mob of cattle we move it to another farm and that allows us to quickly reduce our stocking rate to match our carrying capacity dictated by the rainfall. By having a number of paddocks we've got on the property it gives us flexibility to move them on a daily basis or every second day or every third day. We don't like to have cattle on the paddocks for more than three days just so we don't compromise the new leaf growth of the plant. Most of the past species here are traditional coxfoot and uh, phalaris with some sub clovers and fescues. You would typically refer to them as being run out pastures, but as we're now grazing them more strategically, we're seeing a lot of these species return and become vibrant and with increased root depth. So we're, we're very happy with the way that's, that's progressing. Even though we've only been doing it a couple of years, we're already seeing good responses to our grazing management. We trialled three years ago using some Hereford bulls and we were pretty happy with the results anecdotally, but now we've got to really quantify those results. So it was very timely when Herefords Australia contacted us to see whether we'd be interested in being part of a trial. We were very excited about this because again what we were seeing at weaning time was hybrid vigour come into play. We were seeing a more robust thick set animal at weaning time and that had slightly higher weights. So we needed to put some scientific rigour behind this so, so the timing of the approach from Herefords Australia was fantastic. So the breeding, the, the Black Baldy trial it's a partnership between Adelaide University, Greenham's, Herefords Australia and Muscle Road Beef. So it's really good to have Adelaide University providing the scientific robustness behind it. Also us providing a large herd of, of Angus. Herefords Australia to provide the integration and, and the funding. Also MLA assisting us with the, fu with the funding as well but also Greenham's being in partnership with the process and make sure, that, make sure that we get that final information as far as the carcass, its composition, eating quality and all the MSA details that we can and trace it back to the individual animals. But also the exciting part about this trial is actually rejoining the F1 female to see what, what benefits we get on the maternal side. Because typically if we just weigh the carcass, the trial would finish then, but the exciting part here is that we'll, we'll be able to measure at least two F2 calves being sold for processing. So that's a really exciting part is let's get some quantitative measures on what the, the maternal benefit of hybrid vigour is. So we're really looking forward to that component of the trial.